Hello everyone, welcome to Average Joe Watch Reviews, where we do more than just reviews. Today, we're doing an unboxing, but not your typical unboxing, but it is of the Seiko SNK P25, and it's not your typical unboxing because this is the box that the Seiko sits in, and it's actually from my baby daughter, Madison Quinn, star of the Casio Chronicles, and also steals the show in all of my unboxings that I co-star with her. So this is a very special unboxing and a very special gift. And what's inside is also very special. If you are new to the channel, I'm Average Joe. Thank you so much for tuning in. And please do me a huge favor and help support the channel. Hit that subscribe button. And also, if you can, hit the notification bell so that you are notified every time a new video pops up. So here is the special gift that I received on Father's Day, which is my first Father's Day from my baby, baby Madison Quinn, and also the wifey. So this is a very special gift. And it's not just the box that is extremely special, because I mean, this is very personalized and something that I will cherish for a lifetime. But it's actually what's inside and what's going to stay inside, which is the first watch that I received from them as well and it is and I actually even kept the tag here for reference the SNK P25 and they also refer to this watch as well I'm gonna put it down here because I I'm actually drawing a blank but so this is actually like a not quite a square watch, but it's definitely not a round watch. Um, but it's definitely very unique. And this actually comes in a variety of colors. This one here being the brown, which I don't have a brown dial. And they also come in blue and they come in uh, green as well. And to be very honest with you, um, I would have picked the brown. And it's perfect pick so these guys definitely know me very well uh, not too bad for a baby who's only five months but uh, definitely good taste um, right away you notice that there's gold hands and gold indices I would like to mention that surprisingly this watch has absolutely no loom whatsoever <clears throat> these are all white dots that are put around the dial here and the hands actually have white on them as well to make it look like there's loom. But surprisingly, Seiko has absolutely no loom in this watch whatsoever, um, which I'm actually very shocked at. So um, this one actually surprised me because when I originally shot this video, I assumed that there was loom and I said that there was loom, but I actually had to edit that out and insert this piece here so go figure this does have a day date feature now on the uh, bezel you see that there's actually some noticeable brushing on the case let me see if i can get some better light for you there we go there's some noticeable brushing there which is a nice touch especially against the high polish and then you've got some more brushing on the back end of the case here and what i'll do is i'll just polish that up a little bit definitely to a mirror finish and then you've got the brushing again just very slight um slightly toward the bottom um you know, not even an inch thick. And then on the back side, you have more polishing and an exhibition case back, which as you guys probably know by now, I'm definitely a sucker for. And right away, I notice that this movement is from Malaysia. And I actually have a good friend out in Malaysia. Uh, shout out to you, uh, Mr. Baba. Uh, thank you very much for watching and supporting the channel. So this is actually made in your hometown, buddy. That's pretty cool. And this is water resistant to five bar. It is stainless steel. Okay. 
and it's got that typical Seiko rotor, which is never anything to write home about, but this is a workhorse of a watch and it just gets the job done. So you do notice that it is a Seiko calf leather and there's a definite thickness to it. Um, and it's actually softer than the typical Seiko leather bands that you get. So there's definitely a specialness to this, um, definitely a uniqueness to the band. Um, just to give you a thickness, I mean, we're looking at four millimeters in thickness just on the, the leather, leather band. So that's definitely thick, but comfortable, very comfortable on the wrist because it's a calf leather. It is a 22 millimeter uh, lug width. As you can see, the lug are pretty much integrated into the case. So you, even though this is, well, you know what, let's get some measurements of the watch. And today I'm, I'm actually wearing the Luminox. The only easy day was yesterday watch. Let's get into some measurements of this case. Now I believe on Amazon, they state it's a 39 millimeter. It all depends on who's measuring it, but it is indeed a 39 millimeter. Um, don't always believe, by the way, the, uh, the measurements on Amazon because they, they are wrong more times than you would think. Case thickness, you're looking right at 12, 12 millimeters. As I said, the, uh, the, the uh, lug uh, width is 22 millimeters. Now, when we go lug to lug, what we're essentially doing is we're just going basically to the end of the case. I mean, there's very little lug, um, there's very little lug space here. I mean, it's 45, uh, almost, almost 46 lug to lug. But as you can see the side profile, it's all case really, um, very little lug. So definitely a unique design. The watch actually looks chunkier than what we just measured. Um, so, I, you know, that's kind of an optical illusion in my opinion. Um, and actually the back of the case still has the, there we go. This is usually a very satisfying part of a review or just saying uh, getting a new watch. So there's the movement revealed. Um, there you go. So let's try it on on the wrist and show you what it looks like. And I have a seven inch wrist as a lot of you long-term subscribers know. And right away, you can just feel the softness of the leather strap. And as you can see, because there's really not a lot of lug going on, this actually wears larger than a 39. And that's because you're getting 39 here, but you're getting 46 this way. So even though this is a 39 millimeter, guys, this is wearing definitely much more like a 42, 43. So basically averaging out the two measurements, uh, this is what it's wearing as, there's no doubt. But it's a very unique looking piece. I like it. Um, this is one of those watches, again, that if I would have saw it on Amazon, I probably wouldn't get it for myself because once again, the pictures just really don't do this thing justice. And I love how my fiance is able to, and I know I was calling her wifey earlier, um, but yeah, she's truly my fiance. And I love how she is able to pick out watches that I ordinarily wouldn't pick. I love the fact that she's able to know my know me by now to the point where she could buy me a watch and I'll love it even though I wouldn't have picked it out for myself. So definitely really great choice. You can see that there's actually some beveling to the Hardlex crystal, which is a nice touch. As you can see, it, it does refract um, the and distort the images uh, when you have it at different angles. It's a slight beveling. Um, it is actually a flat crystal, not a, there's no curvature to it whatsoever. And as I said, it's a day date feature. 
there's no screw down. The winding on it's super smooth. Um, actually smoother than a typical Seiko. So this movement definitely is just, it, it winds very smooth. I, I don't know how else to put it. It's just, it's almost like I have to put it up to my ears to, to make sure that it's actually winding because I don't, I don't hear it. I don't feel it. I mean, it's tight. It's not, I don't want to say it's tight, but it's not loose. It's just, it's neutral, but yet you're winding the movement, right? And the other thing is, is this a hacking movement? It is not a hacking movement, guys. Very, very quality feel when you do the, when you adjust the time. Now I know you guys probably just cringed there because the second hand was going the other direction. Um, you don't want to do that too often. You, you will definitely, you probably shouldn't even do it one time. So um, I actually don't have any watches that typically do that. So um, when you adjust your watches, you definitely want to just keep it going forward. You don't want to go backwards. But as you can see, definitely no hacking function. We're going to put it at, well, we're going to, we're going to see how the date adjusts. Does it adjust around 12 o'clock? Um, as you can see, the date is already changing. And that goes into play just around 12.05. And then now the day of the week is going to start to change over. And that's going to just about an hour later. But that's, this, is, this is Spanish. And then the next hour, so right around 3.05, simply turn the wheel this way, upwards, and you, and it's very, very precise. There's no wobble, uh, like the Tavis that I reviewed the other day, it was shaky and whatnot, um, very unsteady, very uncertain. This one, you don't even have to turn it much and you're getting nice, solid feedback. Same thing with the same thing with the day of the week. You're not you don't have to twist too much, and it's very precise. So I like that. Um, the only thing I would like is just a hacking feature. But I mean, this is actually one of the cheaper um, Seikos that you could buy. Um, and I don't want to say cheaper. It's more the more affordable ones. Even though the MSRP on this is two seventy five, um, you can actually snag this on Amazon. I'll actually put the link below. Um, but uh, overall, this is actually a very just quality piece. Um, the the leather on this is just unbelievable. Um, definitely one of the nicest leather bands that I have in my collection. Here's your typical Seiko. Uh, you know, uh, buckle and tang here. Um, nothing, nothing special. I mean, it's it's a quality quality uh, buckle. It's stainless steel. Um, case is stainless steel. And if you take a look at the crown itself, there is no crown guards, but it's very easy to get your fingers around here. There's no crown guard that's interfering. The crown is definitely um, has enough girth for you to get your fingers around it. Um, that drives me crazy with some watches where, you know, the crown guards are either too big or the crown's too small or, or it's an odd size or it doesn't have any kind of gripping to it. So this one is absolutely almost perfect. Um, I do like the ones where I can kind of do this with where it's a little bit wider. But this one definitely, I, I have no complaints with it. So there's a lot of gold going on here um, on all the indices, even the, the date window. It's not even actually in like a box. I mean, it, it, is, it is boxed in the inside, but on the outside, there's actually a little bit more going on. You can see a lot of dimension to it. And that actually just gives it a, a more premium look. And it just shows that they spent a little bit of time um, engineering this piece so that um, it's not just 
you know, a date window that was just, you know, outlined in gold and coal today. I mean, there's definitely some shaping going on and some dimension. So that's, that's pretty cool. Uh, I believe this watch has a very retro look. Uh, may not be completely retro in size, but it is a class, well, it's hard to say it is a classic size because if you do get a square watch that is um, retro, you're definitely going to get a smaller um, size for sure. So, you know, it has a retro look, but it's definitely more modern. So, definitely a cool piece. I uh, just want to thank uh, my daughter and the wifey once again. Thank you so much for this piece. I do love it and I will definitely cherish it. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed the special unboxing of the Seiko SNKP25. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It really helps to support um, all the hard work that I put into the channel. And it also you know, gives you guys an opportunity to be a part of the Average Joe family. I do like to do giveaways and I think we're due for another one. So please stay tuned for that. And as always, there's always time to be kind to one another. Please take care of each other. God bless. And I'll see you guys next time on Average Joe Watch Reviews. Thanks for watching.